Well, two murders and no suspects. This morning, neighbors in the Seminole Heights community are on edge. Police are asking them to stay inside because a killer is on the loose. News Channel 8's Amanda Shavari reports. Today, memorials continue to grow at the spots where both victims' bodies were found. This as police continue to search for answers as for who is responsible. And the lack of information has people who live here concerned. I don't really like to go outside anymore versus how it was back in the day and now. People, people don't care. A lot of people just don't care that if you're just walking with your child, they'll just start start a fight with you just because. People who live in Seminole Heights are on edge. Two murders in five days just blocks away from each other. This was the scene on Friday where 32-year-old Monica Hoffa was found on East New Orleans Avenue. This heartbreaking discovery was made as detectives were investigating another murder of 22-year-old Benjamin Mitchell. His body was found near a bus stop close to where Hoffa's body was found. Investigators have no motive and right now do not believe the two victims knew each other. You look at their backgrounds um, and the proximity, the time frame within a half mile of each other and the fact that there's no real, everything we've done, these are people who aren't living a lifestyle that would lead to the fact that they may end up getting murdered. With the search for answers on, Tampa police released this surveillance video showing a man walking in the area of the first murder scene. Investigators want to talk to him believing he may know something that could help their investigation. Police now asking people who live in this area to stay inside their homes at night, make sure their doors are locked and their porch lights are on. All of this for their safety. Amanda Shavari, News Channel 8.